Hey, what's up everyone? Ultimate Atomic HD here, and today I'm continuing the Let's Play of Persona 5 Royale for the PS4. Last time, we've cleared the last third of the Mementos, the deepest core of Mementos, and... Yeah, now let's proceed to the final boss of the general public. And see what exactly is the treasure of the general public. And of course, we'll be erasing Mementos with those actions, so... No more Phantom Thieves. Well, if that was the original Persona 5, that would be the case, but since this is the Royale version where there's more, and uh, lots more, actually, there'll, there's an entire third trimester, so yeah, we still have a long way to go. Oh, there we go. Um, oh, I always get confused here, I always tend to go right when, I su when I'm supposed to be going left. There it is. Let's go. The hell? Look at how many there are. Are these all prison cells? And what's that thing in the middle? Whatever it is, it looks disgustingly grand. There are no other passages leading out of this room. It appears this is our final destination. The we death. finally reached the heart of Mementos. In that case, is the treasure of Mementos somewhere in here? There sh that should be the case. I think you're right. They've never been here. But I can sense it. There's no mistaking that presence. If we get rid of it... You okay there, buddy? If we get rid of it, the public should come to its senses. But something that large will be impossible to carry out of here. We just gotta make it disappear, right? If we can't move it, then we'll just have to destroy it. Yeah, that will work. Once we do that, the entire metaverse is going to disappear, right? This is finally it. Oh, I guess it's no surprise we've been discovered. That thing isn't gonna sit back and let itself get destroyed. Even the inmates are starting to line up. How eerie. I'm planning something. That must mean this thing's gotta be the treasure. It saved us the trouble of checking. Hold on. Something's off. Shido said the masses are allowing themselves to be held captive here. Could they truly be operating this gigantic system that eliminates intruders on its own? Prison guards and soldiers were very organized, too. Are you trying to say that someone else rules this place? Is it not the public? Hmm. <laughs> Boy, well, it's a mystery, isn't it? We don't have time to worry about that. Leave it for later. All right, guys. We better not lose now. All right. Time to fight this thing. A.K.A. the Holy Grail. Destroy this thing. Everyone, give it your all. All right, let's do it. And it should come to no surprise, this is a battle which is scripted not to be winnable. Even despite my best efforts here, as you can see. Persona! And we got an awesome theme of... Rivers in the desert, the very same one with which we've heard against the twins. Holy Grail? Yep. Yep, it heals a lot. That would be the case. This is never gonna end. It seems hopeless if there are this many inmates supporting it. You fools, human, yet wishing to eradicate the desires of humanity. Who's that? Repent. The treasure's talking. I am revealing a 
this is another one of those cases like Futaba's palace where the palace's owner is the treasure itself. Hmm, this voice sounds a bit familiar, don't you think? Has fallen into an excess of indolence and transformed into a prison. Damn it! The worshiping that thing! Thus, the only suitable end for them is to perish within the prison they wished for themselves. Alright, now we'll actually redo the fight, but with Holy Grail actually attacking us. And yeah, again, it's an unwinnable fight. We have the power of scripting. Damn that thing! Let's break it for sure this time! Persona! I am down. Persona! Alright. Yep, it's slowly turning to gold. This is my other self. Each time it heals itself. Persona, this? Damn, Makoto is almost out of SP. Persona! Oh, I almost got it. One more try, even though it's all for naught. There we go, that should have finished it right there. Yes, I heard you. I ain't gonna obey. There we go. Wait, hold up! It's gonna get totally healed again! No fair! This is cheating! Exactly! Not only this is scripted to be an unwinnable battle, that's the biggest cheater part. We can't accept that. Not at all. It's so frustrating. It makes me want to cry. I... I will never agree. The humans I look up to aren't like that. No matter how painful reality is, it's all over if you don't try to change how things are. I'm not the only one who believes that. Everyone here agrees. 
Of course, Don't Mona. You're our friend. Used to be. That's why we risked our lives coming here. Mona-chan. He's right. Humanity already wishes for their distortions to be actualized. I am merely the being that will ultimately grant those wishes. Now, it is time I refrain from my place in this world and begin to encroach upon reality itself. That's a load of shit! Encroach? What is it gonna do? Hey, this doesn't look good! I've got a bad feeling about this. Mona, what should we do? I don't know what you are, but you can't keep arbitrarily deciding all this on your own. Humans aren't all stupid like you say they are! Indolent foolish humans, you shall offer your hearts to me. Ouch! That no good. Now, the time for the fusion has come. Yep, he's going to fuse mementos with the real world. The ground. It's vanishing. Hell no. Now. Oh, do you now? But who could that mysterious voice be? Oh, we're back in Shibuya. Of course we are. Oh, hey, our clothes are back to normal. Look. Huh? Shibuya? We're back. We didn't come back ourselves, though. We must have been driven out by the Holy Grail. Did we lose? It would seem so. <sighs> right. Huh? That ain't no acid rain I know of. That's bloody rain. Fusion with Mementos has begun. Mementos here in Shibuya? Is this what it meant by the fusion? The best part? Nobody realizes what's going on. Except for, of course, the important characters what's going on? in this story. Even Sojiro sees the rain and the obstruct buildings and constructs. No way! You gotta be shitting me! Huh? What is this, a dream? Nope, this is your big scoop, Oya. Get on that! Welcome to Memento, CY. Karu! Huh? Is this scenery? For real? Yep, me welcome to Memento, Yoshida and Hifumi. This is impossible. Why doesn't anyone notice this? Because they don't believe in the Phantom Thieves. Like you all do. Hello there, Kawakami. No way. Another believer in the Phantom Thieves. What's this pink stuff? I hope it's not acid. Hmm? Hello there, Chihaya. No. Something would almost happen to the world. Takemi too? What's going on here? What the 
hell's happening here? Sigh. I can't believe this. Why is everyone acting normal? Don't they see this? Apparently not. I hope those kids are safe. Shinya? Unbelievable. This isn't a world inside a game, right? Everyone else isn't seeing this? <laughs> Shinya must think now that he's an isekai protagonist. <laughs> well, that would, that would be something, right? It's about tomorrow's preliminary meeting. Uh, the announcement for the new smartphones tonight. Well, what are the Phantom Thieves all about anyway? Oh man, hearing that brings back memories. I feel so dumb for even believing they existed. It was fun news though. Well, I doubt anyone believes they're around anymore. Why isn't anyone noticing this abnormality? It's probably because they don't feel that it's odd. <sighs> What's going on, Futaba? going on everyone's uh, everyone's getting the not feel good Oh no! My hand! Ryuji. They're disappearing! This can't be real, right? What is happening to us? No! No! My body's disappearing! Don't tell me! Morgana too! Indeed, this is his mind doing. No! On! Everyone's disappearing, getting Thanos at all. Not your fault, man. I didn't mean to. Uh, I'm. I'm sorry. The mission's a failure. Morgana, no! I'm the only one left. And I don't have much time. Yeah, let's grab the stars one more time. No! People don't believe in us anymore! Zero, flat out zero. That's not good, that's not cool, that's not right. Look at this, it's like nothing ever happened. Thankfully, we are still alive. We're in a very safe place, and that is the none other, the none other than the Velvet Room. Igor! Explain yourself! Your rehabilitation was not carried through. And what do you mean? I have overestimated you. Where did my teammates go? <laughs> Don't you chuckle to me, explain yourself. Are you incompetent prisoner! The assistance that we provided was all for naught. Humans are more apathetic and more foolish than I had thought them to be. The world will soon see its ruin. Uh, ruin? What? You have lost the game. You were meant to bring change to mankind as a trickster. But it seems that was too much for you. 
In accordance to the game's rules, the defeated must pay a price. Your life is forfeit. No! I sentence you to be executed. <gasps> executed? God's decree is absolute. My experiment has come to naught. Everything is over. Grant that man a swift death. If that's what our master wishes. Are you serious? It, it just means that you weren't an upstanding prisoner. That I was! Be true, but... What is the matter? Carry out his sentence at once. Are we really going to kill him? Don't falter now! It's all his fault for losing the game! All right, inmate. We now proceed to the execution of your sentence. I can't die yet. I won't go down without a fight. My cell door magically broke now that I. You still show your rebellious will after all that. Alright. Ready, Justine? If our master orders so, then it cannot be. Alright, I'll be fighting the twins again. Let us show our strength to this prisoner who just doesn't know when to give up. Understood. Death to the criminal. Although, in this fight, I won't be able to take action. Is Igor just watching in the background? Don't resist, inmate. Just accept your sentence. I won't. This final moment should be spent in good grace. Cannot move. Well, it wasn't a one-shot kill if I'm still alive. Ouch. There you go. Yes, one more duty, which you still haven't performed, and that's it, that's the fight against the twins. Very anticlimactic, I know. I believe I ordered his execution. Uh, uh, Master, have you forsaken humanity? We are wardens, those who rehabilitate prisoners. What? Something speaks to me in my mind. Our true duty is not to kill. How? The voice from the prologue. Please. How? Yes, in the prologue. Who are you? Who? Yes. We are those who wish for true rehabilitation. We are not executioners. That is the truth we had forgotten. We've decided. We will not forsake humanity. There you go, twins. That's the right mindset to have. Your right eye and my left. It's as if they're the same, yet mirrored. remember how we were torn apart you remember we were originally one yet we were torn asunder into halves by malevolent intent that is the truth of the twins <laughs> Igor so we were captives same as you 
to think we'd learn that truth from a prisoner. Let us reclaim our true form. Yep, now I'll be doing one last persona fusion. The last job. Be thankful and obey. You must fuse us together with your own hands. Fuse? It's time you return the favor for us assisting with your growth. Do it with care. Now, fuse us! Alright, I'm looking forward to it already. And now we will actually fuse the twins into their original form. Kinda re brings back Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5 flashbacks with the four you boys. Or the Yamai twins from Date Alive. Although they never did fuse into their original form. And there she is, the true form of the twins, known as Lavenza. And if you thought twins were cute, she's even better. Words cannot describe her. My name is Lavenza. I was torn apart by a malevolent will and took the form of those twins. I sought help before my body was split in two. A malevolent will? If we lose you, the path to the Holy Grail will forever be closed. That's why you must recall the truth once more. And I beg of you, please, save us. I will, I will. I believed in you. I knew that you would make it thus far. And to the scoundrel who has swindled my master's name, your lies shall work no longer now that my sight has been restored. The game isn't over yet. Well, the human world is... Yep. Igor was the one behind all of it. Or should I say, the Holy Grail. Because that's who it really is. The God of Control, yeah, that's what his name is. I'll take that as a compliment, and yeah, this is basically where we max out Igor to rank 10. As odd as it may be, but still. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened the ultimate secret of the fool, granting thee infinite power. And there we go, rank 10. Now I only have one, uh confident to worry about and that's Kasumi in the third trimester and yeah now my arcana burst has been greatly increased due to this confident rank up oh boy what do you mean dragged him into the metaverse and impose an ordeal he did not deserve. Yet you still intend on toying with him? The phantom thieves will be praised and gained fame. The world will escape ruin as well. What say you? Okay, in order to go for the true ending, you need to refuse this deal. 
such purity about foolishness. You choose death for yourself. Very well. I have no need for you. And lo and behold, this is the true Igor, ladies and gentlemen. He's been trapped all along. Oh. oh my. It's been quite a while since I last stepped foot in this place. Welcome to the Velvet Room. My name is Igor. He sounds like a much nicer old man now. Acquaintance. The rightful master of this velvet room, the true aid on your journey. True aid? Yeah, I, I guess what I know what's going on, and I knew it the first time I played the game because yeah. If I were it's... to summarize this, the fake has left, and the real has returned. There we go. Indeed. My master has returned, and you won against that malevolent god's temptation. Thus. You may be able to save this world that is headed towards certain ruin. However, it will prove difficult to win against him with your power alone. I know. You must release your teammates, with whom you shared your conviction. I, I shall do, it ex do exactly that. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. They have not necessarily expired yet. Expired? That's a very funny word to use here. Since you've deepened your bond with them, I'm certain you can release them. Yep, I maxed out all of them, including Morgana. The Phantom Thieves are all gathered here. We will tell you everything. Now go forth to the people whom you should be facing the truth with. Alright, now I need to locate my teammates and uh, release them from their imprisonment. Alright, before I go there, there's nothing. Oh, wait, there's Futaba. Oh, Joker, I'm relieved. Looks like we're both still alive. Pretty much. And you even managed to get out of your cell by yourself. Impressive, as always. Shibuya. What happened? And where are we? Outside the Velvet Room. Velvet Room? That name sounds pretty kick-ass. Eh, uh, sort of. I guess my fears turned out to be true. The real world is a scary place. Pain like this can never reach you if you keep yourself cooped up indoors. Who am I to think I can tell the people what to do? I mean, I used to be a shut-in myself. Damn it. I just want to go home. You can't yet. But even that would be tough now, given the fight's not over people. yet. You know, I think I've changed. I don't know when it happened, but I can't... I can't let people suffer like this. Even if I don't know them personally. You've grown. You've really grown. Honestly, and maybe physically too, too, if much. you know what I mean. <laughs> but, what do you want? I... You're right. My heart has been set from the start. I don't want to run away from this. I ran from my mom's death for so long. I misunderstood it. Everything was just too painful for me to handle. But I never want to be left in the dark again. That's probably why my persona is a little bit special. Because I want to learn the truth. That's how I really feel. Well, I've come this far. I'll follow you wherever you go, on my own two feet. That's the spirit. Nice. You have such a strong heart, Joker. You saved me yet again. 
Thanks. I'm so happy. Like, so much that I can't even express it in my normal words. Then you can always express it in body language or even emotion. Yeah, how many people can actually say that out loud and consider it being true? We need to go. There is much work to need needing to be done. And this song and it gets cut short immediately. It's the very same when the party member's persona evolves. Alright, that's Futaba. Let's go on to the other side. And. Wait. Supposed to be. Oh, wait. Forgot. There's Makoto here. Joker! What a relief! You're safe! Safe and sound, more or less. I'm not sure what happened, but. We seem to be alive. Alive and kicking. By the way, why have you remained in your Phantom Thief attire while I'm back in regular clothes? Could this mean that the will of rebellion is no longer within me? <laughs> it is, you just gotta ignite it again. We have to fight that Holy Grail again, correct? Could you imagine defeating it, Joker? That monster has the support of the masses, and with it, nearly an infinite amount of power. <laughs> No matter which way I approach the subject in my head, nothing points to our victory. I'm not confident either. But I'm not but I'm sure together as a team we can go through anything. Victory against a single criminal is meaningless. The true enemy is society itself. And even against that foe, you still have to try to somehow emerge victorious. I don't know what to do. You have to believe in yourself. Believe in myself? <laughs> That's what basically got you to you become a phantom thief in the first place. Regardless, this isn't a situation with a straightforward answer. But even if there is no clear solution, I'll just have to make one. With my own two hands. That's a spirit. Before you guys came along, my life was defined by rules. Set on a path of someone else's choosing. Yeah, that very, very much sucks, right? I, I will That's the spirit, Makoto. Even if it means going up against the entire world. Yeah, that's the truer words were never spoken. You deserve this attire now more than anything. I'm okay. My resolve was shaken, but it's stronger now. I want the people of the world to see what you would show me. Let's go then! Right. Thank you. Having teammates you can trust is a great feeling. Shall we go? We can't let our last big job end in failure. It won't be our last. I promise you. Hey! Yes. Alright. Let's continue on. Uh... Let's go here first. Here's Yusuke. Joker, as I expected, you appear to be safe. However, I appear to be safe. Where exactly okay. are we? Outside the Velvet Room. Velvet Room? I'm not sure I understand. At first, I was surprised to see the masses chained in a prison. Yet, here I am as well, considering the state of the real world. It is hard to say that we were even remotely helpful. This situation... Can we truly handle such horrid circumstances? All the phantom thieves can do is change the hearts of others. However, the world outside has become a veritable hell. Nothing within our power can fix that. Are you giving up? I'm merely acknowledging how powerless I am. The people of this world desired their enslavement, and that isn't all. They screamed at us for attacking the Holy Grail, defended it, 
Even the criminals whose hearts we changed became meek followers of the Holy Grail because of us. Were we truly that foolish? Risking our lives for a result nobody desired. Why were you fighting exactly? Remember that. And That's your right. soul will it reform itself again. From those we were helping. My purpose lies elsewhere. When we first met, you continued to impose yourselves on me, no matter how much I pushed you away. I will forever treasure what you did for me. Very well. Just as art is meant to break boundaries, people should be saved even if they frown upon it. I won't allow the justice I believe in to be shaken any further. There we go. Let's go, Yusuke. Allow me to thank you, Joker. Being by your side truly gives rise to the greatest ideas. We should get moving. Ah, yes. We cannot afford to leave reality in the hellish state it's currently in. I will make use of my role as an artist and paint over the distortions of society. Well then, time to go and see this through. I'll witness with my own two eyes that this world isn't bound by some holy grail. Well then. Yep, they are. We will be counting on you. And then I need to go save them. Come on. Here's Ryuji. Yo, looks like we're both somehow still alive and kicking. But where at? Outside the velvet room. Huh? Like I keep telling everybody else. Man, this prison cell kind of makes me think of when we first met. I remember how Shibuya was all effed up just now, but like, nobody was seeing any of it. No, it was more like they didn't want to see any of it. What the hell? Okay. So, even all them people who are suffering and cheering for us to come and help them, in reality, they would have rather just had everything stay how it was? Did what we were doing have any meaning at all? Of course it did. <laughs> You're so freaking tough. You know, back when I thought we were gonna die without learning the truth about all this, I kind of felt for the first time that maybe we hadn't been doing the right thing. That maybe we deserved to lose. You get me? I feel the same way. Now that I'm thinking about it, I, I started all this because of how pissed off I was. Maybe it's never been about winning or anything like that. Maybe all I was doing was just continuing my own defiance. That's fine, really. It's fine? <laughs> we all have our reasons. I get it now. We're doing this to make sure people don't gotta go through the same crap we did. It doesn't matter if they think we're just or not. We gotta do what we believe in. <laughs> it's not like people think much of me anyways. I'm gonna dash through this the only way I know how. There we go, Ryuji. Welcome back. <laughs> you got me out of prison. Just like before. Thanks. You know, it's kind of embarrassing to say this, but uh, I'm really glad I met you. Alright, I'm done getting my ass kicked. That shiny bastard acts like it's some kind of god. I ain't gonna feel good till we deal with it. Let's head out. We're gonna take down that asshole, yeah? Of course we are. Hey. Yep, they are here. I'm oh, almost yeah. done here, after all. Let's go to the last section. Here's Haru. Non-teammate characters, of course, you mustn't forget them. 
honestly thought I was about to die. But part of me wasn't afraid. I knew that was all I could do, and looked forward to apologizing to Father face to face. Honestly, I thought I had changed, but I realize now that I still have no control over my life. It makes me sick. Yeah, that is very sickening. But you have to keep fighting. I'm sorry. I know you don't want to deal with my whining. You're going to try and defeat that thing again, aren't you? Don't push yourself to get me to come along. You can always leave me here if I'll slow you down. I'm not pushing myself. Joker! You're the reason why I'm not alone right now. It's all thanks to you. I'm sorry. I almost lost my way again. Don't lose your if way! Don't tell me, I think there's nothing I can do. Uh. I'll never stop fighting for you or our team. I won't give up anymore. That's the spirit. Just as I betrayed my distorted father before, I will betray my boring former self now. Thank you, Joker. Before I met you, I had great admiration for the Phantom Thieves of Justice. And it's turned out you were exactly the person I always imagined you would be. This is the second time you've rescued me. I've secretly longed for a situation like this. Really now? Alright. Take it as a compliment yet. then. Um. Um. Alright. And here we have on. safe more or less like I keep telling everybody it cut me off I apologize for that let's continue on so I'm not in heaven after all that means does this look like heaven not really right I'm so weak when I thought I was gonna die I started trembling I was just so scared at that moment Nothing mattered. The justice of our actions was the last thing on my mind. It's okay. Joker, you kept going, even through a plan that might have ended up killing you. Yet look at me. I've always said I'm doing this for other people. But that didn't get me far. <laughs> it's no wonder we lost. Maybe I should have just behaved myself and stayed out of all this. What about Chiho? That's why you started this, after all. You're right. I can never abandon her. If I whine like this now, I'd just be betraying Shiho. No. I'd be betraying myself. I could never forget how I felt that day. I... I never want anyone to have to go through what I did. I've made up my mind. I'm going to keep looking forward. Things like dying or losing aren't important now. All that matters is that I don't return to my old self. I'll never make a mistake like that again. I swear it. That's the spirit. Welcome back to the team, Panther. Thanks, Joker. You helped me remember what's really important. I seriously treasure being able to be a part of your team. We should get going then. You gotcha, Joker. It would be a disgrace to the Phantom Thieves' name if we didn't take such a big treasure. We're going to put an end to this, aren't we? Let's go! Oh! No, Morgana's missing. Where's Morgana? Meet Igor and Lavenza, everybody. Who are they? I, like I said. My name is Igor. I am the master of the Velvet Room. I am Lavenza, a resident of this place as well. We have been waiting for all of you. Velvet Room? 
My master has just been released from a long period of imprisonment. His powers have not fully returned. Though it may be presumptuous of me, I will speak on his... Hey, where's Morgana? Would you like to see him? Of course. He's right over there. Hello, Morgana. That's where you were hiding? I was born here. It was to dispel an evil being from man's spiritual world. Mona? My role was to find the trickster and help him defeat it. That's why I was created here by my master. Indeed. Yep, Morgana was created by Igor after all, the true Igor. I really remember everything. When this place was about to be taken over, my master gathered the last traces of mankind's hope. He mustered up his remaining strength to make me. The entity that calls itself a god is a malevolent will that forces man into everlasting servitude. It hopes to attain eternal peace by filling reality with those who have stopped thinking for themselves. That is the ruin of man that this evil god envisions. I, um, don't get what you're saying at all. Oh, be quiet and listen! We don't have much time left! W wait a moment. The Holy Grail is a, a god? I was wondering why it had a will of its own, but are you implying that it isn't a treasure? No. As the distorted desires of the masses, it is most certainly the core of mementos itself. Then, did the treasure become a god because people wish to be ruled over? That is correct. To decide the fate of the world, it chose two people with potential and pitted them against each other. One, Goro Akechi, incited the masses' distortion. Had he won, the world would have been destroyed and remade. The other was a trickster who would stand up against this. That was oh him. no, my battery. If he won, it's at 15% now. Those were the conditions of the game. At least, that's what should have happened. But what happened was something very different. Occur within indolent humans. After all, it is the masses distorted desires incarnate. However, my true master believed in humanity. He believed that a trickster would rise among the people and accomplish this change. But that evil entity laughed at the prospect and sought to prove the powerlessness of man with the game. And he had great potential. Which is why it approached him. It helped train the trickster only to cast him into despair, using the masses who rejected their savior. This was likely its means to nip in the bud anything that would pose a threat. Now that I think back to when I was separated, I felt a disagreement to the word rehabilitation. Of course I did. It was just a means for the fate to keep you under surveillance. Basically, this guy was dragged into a game where the evil god rigged the outcome. That's horrible. Damn it! What the hell? Your real world has already been fused with mementos. You do not exist because reality is replete with the cognition of those who deny the phantom thieves. It can be said that the world is one step away from the evil god's machinations. However, there is still hope. Now that the evil god's identity has been exposed, you can see your rehabilitation to its completion. Now we're talking. You can leave this prison and save this distorted world and its captive people. Young man, guided by Morgana and worthy of the trickster name, you must challenge the evil god and reclaim your existence in reality. Are you up to the task? Of course. Let's destroy that annoying shiny treasure drink for sure this time! <laughs> Excellent. There is nothing to fear. You already possess the strength to oppose this evil god. <laughs> I am truly looking forward to this. So am I, Igor. So am I. Morgana, please guide them. Thank you for all that you've done. It's a cruel responsibility that's been cast upon you. I will accept your words of appreciation fully when everything is over. Now follow me!
Alright, I got the summary to the story up until this point. Alright. Lead the way, Morgana. This way! And we're back in Memento Shibuya. Back in Shibuya again? Oh, right. This is where we were when our bodies disappeared. Seems like people still haven't realized that this abnormality has taken over the city. Look, hey, look, it's the door the we saw in the core of Mementos earlier. That's right. It was actually the Velvet Room, which had been swallowed by the distortions. You did say you were born in there. It makes so much sense now. Wait, so if we came out of there, does that mean we're the criminals? No, it's more like him, since he was kept in here. Yeah, we're just temporary guests. Hello there, glowy Morgana. The Velvet Room originally existed to nurture the human mind. But after it was taken over, it was sealed inside that bastard's nest. Inside Mementos. Uh, Mona? More importantly... You're shining. It's probably because my memories have returned. I know what my duty is now. Uh, uh, whoa. Do you see something? Shining? Wait a sec. What, what's with those weirdly dressed guys? They see us now? That's a plus. I've costumes before. Oh, aren't they... The Phantom Thieves? I kind of remember seeing a silhouette of them on a jumbo screen in the city. There we go, now we're talking. Oh yeah, that's right, I, I completely forgot about them. This is different from how it was before. Do they see us? It doesn't seem to be everyone though. Only a handful of people in this large crowd. Maybe it's Kazumona's light. Either way, they remember the Phantom Thieves. Oh, the key of hope. Mona, guide us. Where must we go? Up there. Over there. The bastard from earlier should be in that temple. All right, let's go. Okay, let's get going. Time for the life is change once more and for a copyright claim that'll potentially imbue my video. Yeah, let's go. There's something here. Oh, I can't go up there yet. There's a treasure. Some sort of vest. Joker, there's a treasure chest. Another chest. A weapon for Yuji, which I do not need. Okay. What's up? <laughs> Let's push on forward, and yeah, each of these uh, segments is followed up by a mini boss. Enemy incoming! It's pretty dangerous. Absconding from your cells is forbidden. Return to your prison post haste. Those who wish to disturb society shall be slain on the very spot they stand. You're the one who's disturbing it! So you're gonna get uh, slain on the spot you stand on. Or float above, whatever. It's useless trying to reason with this guy. Let's beat him and break through here! Let's try to perform on his as use case showtime on him, that would be great. Nullifies bless attacks, that's everything I know. Prepare yourself. Oh, he summoned two angels. Let's go. Uh let's do this! Oh, I was hoping he'd get 
can get a Showtime trigger like that. Alright, let's proceed. I believe there are four of these in total, including him. What was that? The, the city. Yep, people are starting to notice. Seems they finally realized their lives are in danger. Some of them. We still have a long way up. Well, we have three sections, I believe. Close to them. Things are going to get even worse from here on out. The entire city has stopped functioning. At least they can still panic for now. If people still don't act for themselves after seeing all this, I'm sorry, but they're hopeless. In any case, let's head to the temple. Let's go! Look, over there! Yep, they throw in guards at the, all over the place. The people in the city recognized us, so it's only natural we draw the enemy's attention as well. Well, they can bring it on! I'm starting to get fired up! Yeah, not too much, Ryuji. I'll reveal your true form. Oh, the alarm also functions here now that the true Igor has returned. No, not that. I wanted to jump over there, slay this angel beast. Damn, I'm getting a lot of money from them. Is this a leftover debug tool or something? No! I did not want that. Uh, there's a little island there. How do I... Oh, wait. Maybe I have to go down. Ah, oh, there we go. That's how I reach this spot. Oh, that's how I do it. There we go, that was neat! How do I... Yeah, why won't you... Okay... And let's proceed to the second mini-boss. Another angelic beast. I shall not allow you to continue for. Come on, let's beat this one too. More people should notice the Phantom Thieves if we just make ourselves seen. That's exactly what we want! Yeah! Let's get this guy out. Out and about. Persona! Wait. Oh, he's using a heat riser and a charge. Ah, damn! It really mean, means business. The Kaja. Oh, that's nice. Yep, more and more people are starting to realize that are, they are disappearing, first of all, and that something's awfully wrong. Let's go! Section number three. Oh, I got a Mara! True 
Okay. Come on. Wrong one. Another hop. And a hop. A hook shot for a treasure chest. I'm talking out of my ass because I really want to. Pre I actually uh, managed to prevent a copyright claim on the Shido Raid video when I talked over the music a bit a bit more than I really should have so yeah, I'm trying to see if I can repeat the results here okay, jump over, time for another mini boss I think this is the semi-final mini boss Really now? Return from whence you came. Proceeding further shall only serve to shorten your lives. I advise you not as a guardian, but out of the mercy of my heart. Mercy? Don't make me laugh! If you had mercy, you'd never be doing this to the world! Ah, even now thy answer is in weapons drawn. What choice have I in the face of such barbarity? My children's misconduct is mine to absolve and mine to punish. Come! Ravish them! This is my other self! <laughs> okay. Ouch. Let's try to finish her off like this. And it will work. Nice! That's one more section done. Does anyone know where my friend is? He was right next to me! What, where does he look like? Where is he now? I'm not surprised there are so many powerful enemies here. Indeed. Though they may not be true servants of God, they do live up to that moniker. I wonder if the people in the city are okay. I hope so. Given what is happening to this world, nobody can be considered a stranger anymore. Yeah, that's why we can't lose. There's only one thing we gotta do. Well said, Lady On. Let's keep going. Let's go! On to the next section. I think this is the last one. Ooh, a Soma! That's very nice. Okay. All right, we have no other choice. Let's beat the final mini boss. Oh, dire revelation! Never did I expect. Well, this is actually the same voice actor as Yoshida. Now only I remain. So that means you're the last one who's gonna get in our way. Dare be destroy the very ruler thou wished for? Human arrogance truly knows no bounds. Not everyone wants that thing ruling over us. Dost thou long for freedom? Dost thou revel in diversity? Since the dawn of time, man hath failed to quell the strife born of their own liberty. Now they finally seek the guiding yoke of a master's rule. What empty justice seekest thou in defying their wish? Like granting that wish is justice either. 
How can you say people are free when they're chained up in prisons in this broken world? If someone has lost their way, it's our job to help them come to their senses. That's what true fantasy so, thieves are about. No sacrilegious beneath thee. For thy ideals thou wouldst profane all that is holy. Thou art beyond all salvation. Okay. Let's go. He's summoning kinky angels to aid him. Ouch. Oh, I don't have enough SP. There we go. That's the last mini boss. Joker, this is probably going to be our last chance to prep ourselves. We cannot lose now. Let us ensure we do not have any regrets as we head toward the final battle. Alright, and yeah, uh, that is going to wrap this episode up. I'm actually going to save up here and end the video up. I'm leaving this episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay tuned for more Rizwork Doesn't Updates. Comment, like, and subscribe. And due to how this next part is going to be structured, I will be recording two episodes. One where I finish the base game of the, uh, of the Persona 5 uh, portion and start off the third trimester. The long way the third trimester. It's going to be good. It's going to be grand. It's going to be... Everything you've seen up until this point, and all that you know and love about Persona, but even better. And see you all, and have a good day! Peace!